And as people continue to get tested for COVID-19, many are wondering just how common are false positive and false negative results. Sarah Hammond tells us more about the testing accuracy. A Warner Robins woman says she was feeling tired, which isn't unusual with her underlying health conditions, but she decided to go get a COVID-19 test and her results came back positive. I was really shocked. And I thought, well, with my condition, I need to talk to my doctor. Mary Fallon then got a blood test and she tested negative for COVID-19. Negative. You have no trace of it. It's not been in your system. And I was like relieved. Michael Hawkinson with the North Central Health District says false positives are rare. It's far more common to see a false negative. If, if they are exposed, we'll try to get testing immediately following that exposure. However, that in it, that action itself can lead to a false negative. He says it takes time for the virus to show up in your system, so they recommend people wait 10 days after being exposed to the virus before getting a test. Hawkinson says if a test is mishandled or contaminated, that could cause a false positive. A false positive is that uh, it could be a a something that slips and cracks. It could be the way that the test was he says testing and even the virus are still so new, there are bound to be errors. Not everything is going to be perfect because we've been doing this for six months and we're still learning things about the testing material, the testing equipment, and the disease itself. He says if you get a positive result on a blood test, it's not a confirmed case but a presumptive positive. So you need to go get a diagnostic test like a nasal swab to confirm those positive results. In Warner Robin, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. And Michael Hawkinson also says if you're experiencing symptoms, you should get tested as soon as possible. If you only think you've been exposed, you should wait 10 days after that potential exposure before getting a test.